All right, everyone. Good evening. My name is Dr. Nosolo Teddy. I am the creator and director of the Heart Smarts program. Welcome to session four of the Heart Smarts Living Foods for Health and Healing series. Uh, tonight, we continue with our series. We're going to be learning about the health benefits of juicing. For those of you who are in the Living Foods program, we will have our support meeting after this. The Zoom link will be sent around 8 p.m. And then for those of you who are in the program but not coming to the meeting, the link for you to enter your five points will be opened at the end of this meeting. All right, so tonight we have joining us again, the amazing Leanna Rop, and she's been with us and will continue to be with us as we go through this Living Foods journey. Next week, Leanna, I'm gonna show you all of the amazing pictures of everyone doing their fermentation last week and uh, drinking our water out of our wine glasses and all the really cool things that you've been teaching us. We've been doing it. And this journey has been more wonderful than we thought it was going to be. It hasn't been as difficult. and. Part of that is because of what you've been doing for us. So just want to thank you and everyone. Welcome, Leanna, for session four. Thank you so much. It's amazing seeing and hearing about your journey. It's wonderful. You're all doing you all doing an awesome job. Great, great. Let's continue. Today is a an amazing topic, a topic which I love sincerely myself because I think that no matter what is your diet, no matter what is your lifestyle, no matter where you are on the planet, what you do with your health, what are your goals, like juicing can be part of all of it, you know, because juicing elevates any lifestyle, any diet, any preferences, any like just anything to just the next level because juicing is as amazing as it's, uh, you know, as it could be. And it's a huge part of living foods lifestyle. It's a huge part of plant-based lifestyle. It's a huge part of actually any, any, any healthy lifestyle. And if for some reason you get sick or you have some risk of some sickness, juices is your best friends, you know? So uh, I hope you already love juices. I hope you're familiar with the benefits. We'll go through all of them right now uh, again together. And yeah, I hope that I will inspire you to actually start making juices at home because you will find that it's not complicated it's not scary it's simple it's easy as it can be but there are of course some techniques there are some combinations there are some not like strict rules but kind of like good ideas to take into consideration and so we will go you know very smoothly through all this information today and i will be open to all kinds of questions hope you have lots of questions so let's uh, dive into juicing right now uh, so again, I'll remind uh, just in a few words that I've been on uh, this amazing living food journey for nine and a half years. So it's pretty long time to consider myself being in this long enough, never looking back, you know, and I only look forward. I see how it benefits for, you know, my overall well-being, my energy level, my health, my skin, my uh, mental clarity, you know, and being at the age of 42, all this, what I just mentioned, it's very essential. So when you're 20 or 15, you have completely different things to think about, right? But when you after 30, after 40, so there are lots of things which are kind of like more important than when you're younger. And uh, taking um, in account what you eat, what you put in your body daily, like how you treat your body, how you... Um, how you just like love yourself. It's becoming super extra important, super uh, essential. And the more you do this, the better you feel with every day. And the more you want to continue doing it the next morning you wake up. So uh, during all these years, I have to tell you, I've been inducing on and off. So as soon as I jumped into this lifestyle, of course, I had some really juicer, you know, at that point that would, uh, what I could afford it was about hundred dollars or even ninety dollars in Costco, something like this uh so i used it for a while you know uh, made some juices felt it's yeah it's really cool but it was really complicated to prepare for juicing then to wash juicer so it's never became part of my lifestyle it was like very occasionally when i'm on some kind of detox or something which required juices i would juice but it wasn't part of my life in anyhow because it just didn't sit there. It just wasn't convenient. It wasn't something which stick to my head. It would stick to my daily life, which is sad. Yeah. So then a few years, I was kind of like on and on, jumping for a few days, then again, forgetting. And my juicer was somewhere in a cabinet in the kitchen, somewhere in the, like a corner. 
getting dusty and I would even forget about its existence sincerely because you just don't see it every day, you don't use it. Because, you know, of this also one of the reasons. Then about uh, four years ago, I have to say, it's almost already four years ago, yeah, I uh, encountered this amazing company called Nama and uh, they developed their first juicer at that point. It was called uh, Nama 8500, you know, weird combination of uh, numbers and names. Uh, and uh, I tried it and it actually was working really well. It was super easy to clean. It was super easy to use it. And I uh, use the main rule to keep the juice on my counter. So this corner in, a, in my kitchen where you see the blender cup standing, this is where I have my blender, my juicer. So I use them every day, multiple times a day. Uh, I'll tell you which one I use more. Uh, but having them there, not, not, not without no necessity to dive somewhere to get them up and set up, I'm using it all the time. I don't have it here. Here I have it just now for you, like, so for better presentation, so I don't turn back while I'm making juices. But usually it's over there in the corner and it's always, I see it, it's, I always reach it, easy, convenient, comfortable. So rule number one, to have it on your hand, yeah, to have it convenient. Uh, and so since I had this juicer, I've been juicing, you know, juicing more frequently, but not super frequent as I wish I would, because still, you know, lots of preparation, you need to cut produce into pieces, you know, first of all, you buy a bunch of produce, then you cut into pieces, then you feed in your juicer, little by little, then you enjoy this uh, green gold juice feeling amazing, you, so you say, okay, I'm going to be doing it every day, it just feels so good, and then again, for some reason, you kind of like, you know, getting out uh, of track uh, on and on, at least that's what's asked for, for me, you know, I didn't jump in a like, juice train right away and was like drinking every day, I wish I did, but it just didn't happen, you know, everybody has its own story. Since I got this one, it's a next generation juicer, which is completely revolutionary because uh, of one reason. You open the lid and you put your whole recipe in this section, everything, you know, like all your produce, everything, put it, close the lid, press the button, go. And it juices itself. So you don't need to cut into pieces, you know, even like, uh, and we, we will see today, like your celery, you know, you don't need to cut into like 100 pieces. You just cut it in like, in this in this case, I would cut just, you know, enough to feed the, the, the juicer. And in this case, it's like in three pieces, you know? So what is it to cut a celery in three pieces? Just like you hold, you take the whole bunch of celery and cut one, two, three, and then you just put it inside. That's it. So this for me was a game changer when I felt this conveniency. And I'm not juicing just for myself because I have two kids. I have my husband, my mom. So if I'm doing juices, I do lots of juices. So for me, to make lots of juices, I don't want to spend half of the day in the kitchen. Like I need to spend as little as possible and I need the juicer to be super quickly to wash. And that, so for me, equipment, correct equipment was a game changer. Yeah. There are some other uh, amazing juicers on the market, but this one considered to be the best one. So yeah, so I'm using it and I'm happy. And now I'm making juices all the time. Again, I don't do them actually every day. I do them every other day, but I juice a lot and I... Some I drink, I uh, some some of them I drink at the same day. Some some of them I just you know get in a glass uh, bottle and put in the refrigerator. But I'm trying to drink in the next two days because I find it like the most uh, the best the best time. I don't want it to sit in the refrigerator too long. If I need to travel or to like I like no, I will not consume it for whatever reason. I will freeze the juice, yeah, and then I will defrost it. But I don't like this things. I like everything fresh. I like everything like. You know, actually, the preference is to get it straight from the juices. So you wake up in the morning, you make your green juice, you put it in your wine glass or whatever else glass you prefer, and you drink it right away with all the gratitude in your heart because it's just like heaven and earth, you know, immediately getting to your uh, bloodstream, immediately nourishing every cell of your body, and you really feel it. What is amazing, you feel it right away. You know, you don't need to wait 15 minutes, you don't need to wait Whatever minutes you feel it, like the next minute, the next two minutes, you, you, you know, little by little enjoying every sip and you feel, wow, like your eyes just like, woo, <laughs> you know, it's, 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 at least it's how it feels for me. It's like eye opening. It's like mind uh, clearing, you know, like it's like heart opening. It's like in every way when you uh, like really drink or eat something with intention, you really feel it 
this way. If you get a juice, bum around, you drink it in a second, you didn't even feel what it was, something cold or something warm in your body, then you kind of like diminish lots of it, you know, like lots of purpose. But when you drink or eat, you know, it's like slow drinking, slow eating. Of course, every situation is different, but try as much as you can. Drink or eat not in a stressful situation, but in a quiet, peaceful situation when you can actually sit down, you know, put your phone away. You don't need to check any uh, emails. You don't need to check any social media. It can wait a few minutes, totally. But you with intention, you give gratitude to your food, to your drink. You eat or drink little by little. You look around. You uh, think, I'm grateful you for where you are. I have actually now beautiful sunset right behind the window. I'm very grateful for this amazing day and this beautiful sunset. So like really doing everything with intention just makes everything completely different. And everything works with appreciation such a better way. Like every vitamin, every mineral, every nutrient, every enzyme, they feel it that they are so welcome to your body and you are just glowing <laughs> and feeling the best, 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 best. Uh, when you do this mindfully. So mindful eating is very important. Again, back to juicing. So very important to have a good equipment, very important to have it handy, very, very important to have good produce, you know. So about produce is a, is a very big topic. Um, like, you know, some people say, uh, yeah, you can juice whatever you want, like everything is so good in juice. Yes, part of it is true, but if you select good produce, you know, whether you go to your favorite store or you've been in a farmer's market or you went to your garden and pulled some amazing produce from your garden, like the sooner you get it into juice and we all understand that the fresher the produce, the more enzymes in there, the more it nutrient rich and the better. So when I go to farmer's market or I go to my garden, I right after that, you know, trying to juice. I don't put it in the refrigerator and, you know, uh, freeze it or whatever uh, refrigerate for hours for days I'm trying to do my juices the same day maybe not the next minute but the same day when I set up my time uh, or when I go to the garden I go of course to the garden just like five minutes before and I make my juices just right 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 like well, I, I get all these greens I have so much greens here guys I wish you, you you see but I will send all these pictures and actually show you because you will see what exactly I have here prepared uh so look i have all of this you can see all of this amazing produce i have jars ready to be filled yeah and yeah so all of these greens all of this yummy deliciousness is waiting to be juiced <laughs> to be juiced and yeah that's what we're gonna be doing in the next amazing hour so uh and I'm getting all beautifully blushed by the sunset. Sunset is, is beautiful too. I'm going to show you sunset too. If, as I'm walking around, I'm going to show you sunset too. Could you see? So yeah, it's over there. <laughs> yeah, sorry for this little, but I think it's it's making it more personal when we a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit move around. So produce the fresher, the better. It's uh. Unbelievable how it really makes a big difference when you use fresh or when you use wilted produce. But at the same time, I always also say, if you have some wilted beets or carrots, don't trash them, juice them, you know, and it's, you, know, you don't want to waste any food. There is like not enough food in the world. You want to use everything. But as soon as you can, uh, as more fresh produce you can, you can use the better because of all these reasons I mentioned about. And uh, it's amazing if you grow your produce, it's even better. It's even better because then uh, it just elevates your, again, your ingredients to the, to the next level. In my situation, lots of things we grow, like all the leafy greens we grow, limes we grow, cucumbers, carrots, and beets are from the garden, but celery we don't have. So celery is from organic uh, farmer's market. Oh, ginger and turmeric we also grow from the garden. So basically here, yeah, not like all the herbs I use also from a garden. So I guess all the celery yeah, in this situation, everything else is just from the garden. But, you know, we've been dreaming about this lifestyle. We moved uh, to Costa Rica uh, one year and a half ago. We got this land two years ago and we've been like dreaming to finally start living the life when we can, you know, use our own produce, uh, you know, to make our food, to make our juices, to make our smoothies, to make our salads, because we are, vegan you know uh i'm like 
you know, we, we love living foods. We love the food which is fresh. And this is the best way, you know, like when you can get hands on on it fresh and when you can actually spend your time cultivating your food because it's, again, it's so much intention when you, when you actually grow your food. So I'm all about this. I'm all about inspiring people to plant seeds because all these extra greens you, you see here, they, we, we all planted them from seeds. There is an amazing company, Trulip Company, uh, uh, yeah, Trulip Market actually. So they have a huge selection of organic seeds and they have like hundreds of different varieties of greens, you know, like carrots, they have like 20 different varieties. Beets, they have like 15 different varieties. Greens, they have like hundreds of different varieties. So it was even, it was hard for me to pick where I want to grow, but I made a whole big list. So I got the seeds and I planted everything with seeds. And it was a journey. First uh, planting of seeds wasn't the most successful, but second one was successful. And then I was replanting because there were so many seeds which were successfully growing. So instead of one bed, huge bed of greens, now we have two huge green beds of greens and they grow so fast. So in the morning I go collect some greens to make juice. In the afternoon, I go collect some greens to make smoothie, if I have a smoothie, if I have a green smoothie. In the evening, every evening, I go with my big, you know, like tray, get a heap of greens, like these different greens, you know, different varieties of greens, which are like, wow, mind blowing. And all this chop, 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 chop in our green salads. And uh, it's amazing, we stop buying greens, you know, because before our every, uh, you know, uh, farmer's market uh, trip or, or supermarket, like dependent, what, what is the situation would always have like like huge amounts of greens so you're like buying them trying to buy organic uh but still selection is like you have like in a store like this this and that you don't have as much selection as you wish or whatever but now like uh just going to the garden and harvesting guys it's life-changing life-changing dream, dream came true yeah and so yeah i also do in living within experiences when people can come and with me harvest uh, all the amazing uh, vegetables, all the amazing greens, and we make food together, I teach them, or they just enjoy the views and I make food for them. And so it's kind of also a way for people to, to people to introduce them to this kind of eating, in appreciating the food, appreciating the effort to grow this food, and then being just amazed by delightful flavors and combinations and everything. So yeah, it's been a journey. It's been a journey, yeah, yeah. Back to juicing, produce. We mentioned it's super essential what kind of produce you use. Then of course, the next very essential step is combinations of juices. Lots of people like fruit juices, you know, let's say watermelon juice or pineapple juice or apple juice. It's all amazing. It's way better than drinking cold Coca-Cola or drinking uh, whatever spirits, cocktails, wine and, or anything like this. It's super amazing. It's wonderful. It gives you a boost of energy and everything. But you're right, guys. I know what you're thinking about. It's way too much sugar you want in your bloodstream. And for some people, it's totally fine. For some people, it's not fine at all. Uh, I have to say that it should be everything in balance, right? You don't want too much sugar anyone, anyways. And there is a rule, actually. Like, there is no kind of a rule. But I, for me, like this idea of having... 80% greens and vegetables, you know, and non-sweet uh, fruits like lemon, you know, it's still fruit or uh, cucumber, it's a fruit or bell pepper, it's a fruit, tomato is a fruit, yeah. So having these things to be like 80% of your juice and 20% of your juice, or if you can 10, or if you can none at all, you know, but it's all individual and maybe they'll come to your life, you know, with time when you get used to the flavor of a juice. So getting something sweet to kind of like make it more palatable. And something sweet can be apples, any kind of apples can be pineapple, uh, can be watermelon, can be pear, can be, you know, sweet citrus juices. So like really when you give it this kind of balance, uh, your fruit becomes, uh, your juice, I mean, becomes just super highly nutritious and super rich in vitamins super rich in nutrients it's also of course was in fruit juices yeah but but super high on your alkaline level because fruits don't have alkaline you know what, what have alkaline and which helps you uh with alkalinity with your you know like actually helping you struggle with all kinds of diseases building your human hue like amazingly immune system is greens leafy greens and uh, some people can, you know, eat leafy greens non-stop like I, I can, 
But some people just can't even bear the idea of eating big amounts of leafy greens. They can have maybe small salad or here and there, put like a couple leaves in a smoothie and that's it. But it's not enough, you know, like actually to be really healthy, you need, you, you need to eat lots of greens, lots of greens and juicing in this way. Blending is a great way, amazing way. Love green smoothies. Wow, it's absolutely awesome. But juicing in this way is like the best way to get all the greens possible. And even a small cup of green juice will be like for many people, like their monthly amount of greens they eat or even, even more. Yeah. But when you juice greens, you get all you can ever dream about, you know, and it's fresh. It's very easily digestible. It gets, you know, all these nutrients, all these vitamins, enzymes all this, you know, all this good stuff just comes beautifully directly in your bloodstream. You feel absolutely amazing. Like as I was telling you, like you drink your juice and you feel it and you like for really feel it, how good it feels. And it not like after drinking wine, you feel good. You feel clear, you feel fresh, you feel ready to conquer the world you feel to juice every day because it feels so good <laughs> yeah and uh yeah so i would say that combination of ingredients in your juice is super super essential and uh like my kids they just love pineapple juice they would drink just pineapple juice with so much pleasure they just love it so much i don't blame them we have best pineapples here in costa rica i love pineapples I actually love them just, you know, cut into pieces and, you know, spoon by spoon. It can be like my, my lunch or my breakfast, you know, this uh, pineapples here are actually, you know, they're not very big. So this is the size of pineapple. You see, it's not like a huge pineapple. It's pretty small. When you cut it, it will be a nice bowl. So I actually like eating it fresh by itself. But kids say, of course, like fresh too. But when I make juices, they always like, mama, make, make, make us please pineapple juice. And I make it the pineapple juice. But then I also put there a bunch of celery. At the time, I will put a bunch of uh, carrots uh, or beets or all of them together. So in this pineapple juice, they additionally get an, wow, best of the best. And, and not like one carrot. It will be like a bunch of carrots, like a few uh, beets, you know, like good uh, amount of celery. So it's a great way for anybody, yeah, and especially if you have kids or like, you know, people who struggle to eat some vegetables, like uh, to incorporate this into their uh, diet. Let's say also talking about my kids, they love uh, leafy greens a lot in their salads, but they prefer, you know, like very mild flavors, like, uh, you know, like lettuces, like Romaine lettuce, like this like pale green. Uh, we have like different uh, names. It's like, I don't even remember, but you, you know, like they, ha they have like this like very tender green. So they would not add to their uh, salad, let's say, arugula or reddish greens or beet greens or um, even kale, they kind of like, you know, don't like much because it has its specific uh, flavors. Yeah, it's, it's better a little bit bitter or it's kind of, it's, it has kind of this like aftertaste. And I personally love it. Like my daily salad consists of exactly all these things. Uh, but kids not, they're not going to eat it in a salad. So when I make a salad for, or not a salad, but a juice for them, I make sure that I put few leaves of this, few leaves of that, few leaves of that. And so uh, it's amazing. And in a juice, when it's all, you know, kind of like uh, balanced with sweet ingredients, in my case, let's say it can be pineapple, it can be apples, it tastes amazingly. You don't feel any bitterness. You don't feel any aftertaste. You just enjoy it and it's bright, it's green, it's delicious and Everybody's happy. I'm happy as a mom. They happy as kids. And, you know, like it's all in one. It's amazing. Oh, actually, in a mirror, you see this, uh, uh, this flower has a mirror inside. And you can see the sky now. It's like beautiful, uh, purple, bluish. Uh, very soon it's going to be dark. It will be just dark. But now it's, it's some, some beauty behind me. Uh, so, so you see, juices is just amazing as, uh, as, as they can be. And, uh, uh, of course, um, uh, so many combinations, you know, you can make every color, you can mix colors, you can make any color with juice and they all will be very nutritious. They all will be super healthy. They all will be awesome. You just depending on your, you know, 
on many things like what you like more what you think you feel missing what your heart tends to like more maybe one day you want only green juice as a day you don't want any green juice you really want you know some beef juice or you're really into citrus juice uh, so make it different all the time uh, you know drinking one juice every day you know for 10 days <laughs> 10 years in a row of course it's very good but your body kind of get accustomed to all this you know uh, boost those the same nutrients and it does and it stop working the same way as you will diversify and make different combinations every day even green you know if you will do everyday different combinations you will get completely different nutrient palette and your body will be just thriving every single day and yeah it's like that's why there is so much varieties in nature yeah so we want to eat them all and obviously we can't eat them all in one day in one sit in one glass but if you make a different way every day it's just amazing it's just 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 amazing so this was important then another important tip is um as I've been mentioning, I like drinking juices fresh, fresh, but let's say now we're going to make lots of juices and it's for me, it's, it's evening for you guys. It's also very late evening. I kind of not sure if I want to drink uh, today juices. I will drink maybe a few sips to make sure I like the flavor, but I don't want to like sit and drink like literal juices <laughs> right away, but I'll put it in the refrigerator and I will store them in the refrigerator till tomorrow. Maybe some of them will stay for a couple of days. Yeah, and um, it will be totally safe because when you use cold press machine, and this is a cold press machine, your juice is absolutely safe for a few days because there is, you know, specific mechanism which lowers oxidation because it's like very slowly juices. It's not super, it's it's fast, but at the same time, it gets time to to make it properly. So your produce uh, feels good when you bottle it, and then when you bottle it. Uh, so these are kind of bottles I use usually, you know, it can be any bottle, it can be jars, bottles, whatever. I, I have all of it. I have mason jars of all sizes. I have bottles of different sizes, but this is for me kind of like the most go-to because I like the size is 16 ounces, like half liter. So this is what I will drink in one, uh, in one seat yeah, when I drink juice. And uh, I would drink straight from the bottle. It's very convenient to take it to the car when you're on the way or when I know that I go somewhere and then in a couple of hours I will want to drink the juice. So I'll have my little, you know, uh, bag, isolated bag, which uh, holds the temperature. So I put my couple of bottles with me and I take them with me. So kind of convenient and uh, obvious, right? But when you uh, pour your juice, you just pour your juice, you know, you're trying to get as much as possible so to again avoid oxidation and you close your cup very tight you know you, you, you close your lid very tight and you put in the refrigerator so kind of obvious things but lots of people have this question so i decided that i'll go this all, through this uh also yeah some people freeze juices when you freeze juices you make sure to leave some gap between the level of a juice and a lid because when uh, liquids are getting frozen, they have a tendency to expand a bit. And so you don't want your bottle to, <laughs> to expand. You want just, you know, the level of juice, have this a little bit of a distance so it can expand and not break your glass or, or anything else. Uh, so yeah, this is about preserving juices. Uh, the other thing I wanna tell, let's share about juices as much as you can. And um, when you will feel how it feels amazing, and I bet you actually feel it right now, being on your journey, like try to get as many people into juicing as possible because this is like the best, the fastest, the most proven, the most amazing way to feel the health right away, right? And when we feel the health, we want to stay in this state, we want to, uh, you know, enjoy this state. We want to, we are so happy. We want to share this happiness and, and juicing is absolutely amazing. Juicing is absolutely amazing. And yeah, I'm totally up to it. I'm, I'm not saying that I, I have never done myself long uh, time uh, juice fasting. And I can say that I fully understand the whole idea of it. You know, um, I think that juicing, you know, it should be an addition to healthy diet, you know, if you still eating whatever you know processed food lots of cooked food lots of uh, animal products doesn't matter how much juice you will drink yeah it will kind of like balance tiny bit but then you again uh, you know fill yourself with uh, all this not working for good uh, substances then kind of juice uh, 
ask a question like, why are you drinking me if you still eat all this crap, right? But if you eat it healthy, if you're trying to make healthy choices every day, juice is a great, great, great friend, you know, which helps you to absorb better, to digest better and feel better and eliminate better and detoxify your body and like all, all, all of it. So juice is an essential addition to healthy diet. Yeah, to healthy lifestyle, or this way, to healthy lifestyle. Yeah, so so yeah, juicing is juicing is great, guys. I hope you, I hope you'll be inspired to to make more juices, to make more juices, and yeah, enjoy every every benefit. Uh, well, how about jumping into making first juice? And uh, yeah, we have today five juices we're gonna make. Super simple recipes. If you don't have any ingredient, you can obviously alterate these ingredients and i will be mentioning what could be alterations what would be possible but let's start with the first one and first one is uh it's called go get a juice but you can go call it anyway green juice go get a juice cool juice yeah so what we have in here we have uh kale you know first ingredient is kale or any leafy green you prefer guys look at this kale juice is a color it's like miraculous right it's like wow it's like not just green, it's like, I don't even know, what is it called? It's awesome green. And what's great in juice, and like when you, let's say, make salad, you will chop, 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 and then this, you kind of like don't want to chop into your salad, right? Not not necessarily. I usually use these uh, stalks in when I make dressing, you know, to add extra nutrition to dressing. Or, of course, when I have juice, uh, when I'm juicing, I add to juice. And uh, let's say if I were making uh, uh, yesterday salad and I have this and I didn't add them to my uh, dressing because I had tahini dressing that didn't require any greens. So then uh, I would just keep them in the refrigerator and next day when I do juice, I will additionally add the stock because all the stocks they have super much you know, nutrients, everything, they all uh, right here. So we don't stress them, we don't compose them, we are trying to absorb them. And so in this situation, I have this amazing kale, you know, straight from the garden. And uh, what you can do, it's recommended, you know, you can just put it like this, you know, like kind of like crush it with your fingers, but I usually just give it a nice cheer. So it's a, at least a little bit, I don't need to chop it into pieces, but at least it like in, in two times I broke it up. And with juicing, you try to put all the softest ingredients on the bottom. Then you put medium ingredients and then you put the most toughest ingredients on top. So it's kind of like works a little bit kind of like an extra pressure, you know, uh, in this situation. So I have this, then I have uh, loads of uh, cilantro. So look, um, actually cilantro, this is how I store cilantro, you know, in, uh, in a jar with a little bit of water. So you just cut a little bit of uh, on the bottom, put in a jar and it holds for a few days, absolutely without any problem in your refrigerator. So in this situation, I can also do like this, or I can use a knife and cut in half. You know, this time you see it worked without any knife. So again, I put it inside here. Uh, then our next ingredient is celery. And you see, this is a celery I buy. I don't grow celery yet. So you see, they sell it with all these greens and all the stalks you can actually just do. Because mostly in a store, when they sell, because of, you know, it takes less space, they cut all this, but this, has so much nutrition. So if you end up buying it with tops, make sure you use the tops too. And you use it uh, any, in any way. One more, <laughs> okay, uh, you use it, uh, you know, in juices, you can add to your smoothies. You, if you make whatever uh, dish, just chop, chop and add it too because it's super nutritious greens and you don't want to waste it. So for the celery, as I was mentioning, I would love to cut it. Yeah, and I would love to cut it the size so I can pop in my juicer. And in, and, and in this case, you see, I'm seeing it pops perfectly. Good. Then I'm cutting one more. Again, one more chunk. Smells so amazing. I guys love celery so much, actually, in every way. Uh, almost to my every salad, I would take, you know, a couple stalks of celery and chop, 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 add into the salad. Celery is very salty. It's naturally salty. And for people actually who try trying to uh, you know, consume less salt in their diet. So celery uh, is a great, great, great ingredient to add to your whatever you're making. Yeah, and especially if you talk about salad, it gives a salty kick, it gives all the sodium, it gives so much, you know, amazing minerals. It's just awesome. You can make just celery juice, which is also amazing. If you like follow 
you know, any kind of protocols, celery juice is awesome, good. But, you know, you can add up so many more things and then your juice will become just even extra level awesome. Then another ingredient is uh, lime uh, or lemon. Uh, we have in Costa Rica, you know, this amazing green uh, limes. Uh, I already, uh, you know, uh, peeled it. And look, when you peel your lime, you don't want to go all the way and remove all the white uh, uh, parts because white parts actually super, super essential. They have, you know, huge amount of nutrition and they actually have, they have a compound that helps to absorb uh, all the vitamin C, uh, limes, lemons, or uh, other citruses have. So when you peel, and especially for the juice, they are a little bit bitter, of course, yeah, but in the, in the juice, you're not going to peel it. So try to peel it, you know, very, very gently. And so then we just put it, I usually uh, just cut it in half, but you can put uh, a whole thing. So just like this, and you put in your juice. And I really love adding uh, ginger, and um, so ginger, or to and turmeric uh, to to your juices because you know we all know about all this amazing anti-inflammatory benefits. We all know how it's good and we, and literally like heals so many diseases and it's just amazing for digestion. It's so awesome. I love the flavor. <laughs> I love the kick it gives to uh, whether I make a dressing or whether I make you know uh, even in desserts and in smoothies, I like to add this kind of like spicy kick and knowing especially how it's good for your body. It's just, I have uh, lots of ginger and turmeric growing in the garden. So we harvest them all the time, fresh, delicious. Oh, this is actually a uh, fresh harvest of turmeric. Let me show you. Uh, so this is how it looks. Look at this. Yeah, fresh, delicious and yeah, and awesome. So, uh, I have it all the time in a big abundance and recommend you to buy or to grow, grow super easily or, or buy in a good uh, a source and just incorporate in your diet. It doesn't matter if you're sick or not sick, it's kind of like building your immune system so you're not going to get sick. Yeah, because people like to get sick and then they start making ginger tea or then they, they start uh, taking turmeric powder, kind of trying to heal themselves miraculously. But if you have a habit of consuming these components of your daily life, you will see how you just you just become stronger, <laughs> stronger. Okay, so I'm putting here a, a piece of uh, peeled ginger too. And so these are the ingredients of the juice. So all I do now, guys, I'm just closing up the lid. Mm -hmm. So we close the lid and we press in the button. And we press in the button and look, we have here two chambers. So this one, gonna have all the pulp coming in here and this one on this side gonna have all the juice coming in here. so let's see uh we we feel that actually let me check again yeah we filled it all the way up and you know i could actually add a little bit more of the celery in here let me add in here yeah so it's actually filled all the way up you know like this thing totally ready so let's see how much juice we're gonna have okay And uh, juicer is pretty uh, quiet, you know, it's not like super loud, uh, you know how you hear it now, but I find that there are lots of juices which are like way more loud. This one is pretty, pretty mild. Uh -huh. The name of a juicer machine is Nama uh, J2. Nama J2. And uh, yeah. I'll tell you later more about this machine, but you can Google now and see how it looks, the pricing. The pricing is for Nama J2 is $550, so it's pretty expensive if you think maybe, right? But there, I know blend, uh, machines for juices which cost $1,000 and $2,000, so there is no limit, you know, there are, yeah. Yes, exactly, Nama J2 juicer, yeah. Uh, so I actually have a code which will save you $55, so if you wanna use it, Lena, 10, so it will, you know, get you uh, good savings if you, if you decide to, to choose it. Uh, but again, it has 15 years warranty, they have a, a payment plans, and you will just never have any problems if you have just like this, so uh, it's so worth of investment, you know, guys, and uh, yeah, been using it for many years already and have, have, have no problem, so, so yeah. Uh, so I'm heading here, guys, you see juice? We see the level of the juice. Look at the color. How do you like it? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the thing is, I actually timed it. 
it took me two and a half minutes to clean the juicer. Believe it or not, it's super easy to disassemble it, super easy to remove one part from another. So it's like basically these two parts, they separate from each other. Then there is a motor, which is like slowly going around and there is like a mesh uh, basket and it's super easy to wash it. And they made it with, uh, it's actually done. So look, it was two minutes for this juice because it has like seven lots of grids. It's a little bit uh, longer than other juices. Usually it's like one minute, one minute and a half, but two minutes is a good time, right? For getting all this juice. And again, for cleaning, two and a half minutes, seriously. So this is like the main thing which stops people from juicing is cleaning the juice. But when it's so fast, you know, you'll try it once, you'll do it second time, even e more easier than on the time three, it's like no problem at all. So it's, it's, it will not stop you from making your juice. You know, it's a super essential question. Thank you so much. So, okay, let's see what we have here. We have pal, guys. I want to show you the pal. So this is the pal. It's super dry. If I press, there is no liquid going. It's very dry pal. It actually smells so good. <laughs> All this cilantro, you know. So here is the amount of pal. And the most interesting, here is the juice. And now what we do, so there is this, uh, you see, uh, amazing uh, fit. So I'll just come here just in case. You open it and you have fontaine of health right here. And I recommend, in my opinion, a little bit tilted this way so you get even more juice coming from everywhere. Then you close it up. And so this is, look at this color. It's not paint, it's not painting. It's just real juice, uh, which we made with you just now in two minutes in this machine. Smells absolutely amazing, smells delicious. I'm sure it's yummy. So what I do next, I'm taking my bottle, you know, or any kind of uh, jar, any kind of container, make sure that it's clean i clean it before the class and i'm using usually this kind of uh, funnel and just pouring it mm -hmm. okay and you see i want it actually to be a little bit fuller so and as i was telling you i have so now this is what i have i'll, I'll place it right here but I, I want to use, as I told you, all this celery, right? So I'm just cutting this into a couple more pieces and fitting all the rest in here too. Uh -huh. Okay. If I do just let's say watermelon, the same amount would give me, uh, would give me like two jars, like two two uh, bottles like this. But as I'm juicing uh, celery and kale, so it's a very high fiber and kind of low water, right, uh, ingredients. So that's why I have a little bit less, but I want to be doing more and yeah, we'll see how it goes. I already have pulp coming up. And again, it's super dry, super nice. And I already have some juice uh, coming up here. The color is absolutely amazing. Look at this, guys. It's like house in one jar, like in one bottle, just like pure, clean, full. You know, I would call it, it's like uncomparable. And there are lots of uh, brands now making juices and selling and, uh, you know, lots of good companies, of course, you know, they're doing their best to uh, prolong the shelf life, to make sure that everything is clean, to make every, uh, sure that everything is according to standards and whatever else. But nothing can compare to a, a juice you make at home, right? You control your ingredients, you control the quantity, you control the way you know it all goes. So it's a huge advantage uh, to be willing and to be able to make juices at home because it unbelievably elevates your health to the next level. So you see, sometimes uh, uh, they like if you have lots of leafy greens, let's say here. It's got a little bit stuck like around the well. So I just open it up a little bit, you know, uh, walk around and close it again and let it juice more. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And look at the pulp, super dry, super dry. So that's what we want from the good juicer. We want to use all the juice from the uh, vegetable, all the juice from our ingredients, from greens. We don't want this like, 
soggy pulp, which you can like, you know, sometimes you take it, squeeze and like juice comes out. So it's not enough. That's why we want a juicer, which will really do the best job. Yeah. Okay. So, so Liana, if people have the um centrifugal juicer, the one that gets mm -hmm. hot with the motor, the one that's really loud, is that no good? Or is that less yeah. nutritious? It's it's less nutritious because heating element, you know, it's unfortunately kills lots of enzymes. You know, we all know what heat does with our living foods. So in this situation, this heating mechanism, it kind of, you know, works. It's better than nothing. But if we're talking about nutritional component of this juice and this other one, it will be like, you know, a uh, very big difference. And this is a cold press juicer, so there is no heating element at all. It's all, you know, like wonderful mechanism, which is like, you know, just making best of the best of the uh, nutrients. Okay, so we have here another batch of juice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, so and is the sound we're hearing, is that how loud it is, or is it louder yeah. on your side? Uh, I think it's how loud it is. We it's don't hear, quiet, we don't so hear anything. So is it a yeah. silent juicer? Uh, yeah, there is sound, but it's very, very mellow. It's very quiet. It's very, very quiet. So this is another big difference from other juicers that it's, it's just quiet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, guys, I have this amazing juice all the way to the top. Awesome. Yeah. So now it's ready to get close. Look at this. <laughs> so good. Okay, we'll leave it here. Uh, or here for now. Uh, okay, we're moving forward to our next juice, which is also green juice, because if I can't emphasize how awesome are green juices, and we're going to be making two more green juices. So another one is morning dew juice. And why I call it this way? Because I like when I collect greens in the morning, not greens, herbs. They usually have morning dew, uh, you know, on the leaves. And so this is a um, uh, basil from the garden. So as for the basil, you don't want to juice the stem, you know, this like, uh, it's like this part. So you just like this, very, very easy, remove all the leaves and put them inside. But when I make tea, I put the whole thing, in, I, I like do like this and I put the whole thing in a, in a teapot. So because I believe that there are lots of components also in here, but for juicing, you don't use it. So this you just set aside. Uh, this is, I have here lemon balm, which I also collected from the garden. can be any kind of mint or whatever other greens you, uh, I mean, herbs, medicinal herbs, any herbs you have. So again, we don't use woody part, you just use the leaves, guys, and it smells absolutely heavenly. So we put this in here. Uh, then I'm going to be using charred leaves, you know, but you can use other leaves, other greens you prefer. Look at this rainbow chart. So I have here. Uh, pink, bright pink. I have here yellow, uh, not super bright, but at least, uh, you know, during the day it's kind of bright, but anyways, on this side, and I have like regular uh, char. And it's amazing. It's very mild flavor. I love them in salad so much. I actually love also using them as a wrap because look at the side and it's organic, grown from seeds in my garden. So you can, you, you know, you see like roll it up and make it as a, you know, wrap or anything. So I love them sincerely. And, uh, but kids still don't like, they, they feel, they find there's a little aftertaste. So when I make juices, I add this into their juices, you know, all, all green smoothies, because it's totally, I think it's essential, essential thing. So again, we can touch with, it, with a knife or we can just do like this, you know, they are very mild, so I easily can just cut like this way. And again, we're using all these amazing stems, which are super highly uh, nutritious and have everything we need right here. So we put this, so we have here basil, mint, we have chard, or again, you use other varieties of greens. You just want a good amount. I had here like eight chard leaves and they were pretty good size. So we kind of fill, filled our juicer halfway with all these uh, uh, greens. Amazing, right? Uh, then we use them, uh, in, in this case, I wanted to sweeten it a little bit. So I'm using a quarter of pineapple. So I have this quarter of pineapple. I just cut it in like, Three pieces, you know, big chunks, in, uh, and I, I put them around like on top, so they like working like a little pressure here yeah, for our greens. Uh, then we use and again, I love using limes, so we use in lime, and we using uh, some ginger also. 
uh, they just give a very nice kick. You know, lime uh, makes everything limey. Like I actually, lime is one of my favorite things to use. Like whatever dressing I make, I use lime. But if I, sometimes I have salad without any dressing, but I make sure that I will pour uh, on top of my, you know, uh, salad, good amount of lime juice. And I love avocado a lot. So avocado without lime juice is, you know, not as <laughs> interesting flavor. So, so lime juice is essential. Uh, it's in, in my, <laughs> in my life. That's why we have lots of lime trees growing different varieties in our property. And yeah, it's amazing having, you know, different citruses, but limes I have very special heart for, <laughs> special place in my heart for them. And so we put in some ginger. So, so this is this juice, you know, let's see uh, how, how long it's gonna take to juice this one. Let's see, okay, we press start. And so while we're juicing, you use this time just to clean up your counter or clean a bottle or prepare to uh, make another juice, you know, prepare, clean some ingredients. Some people use this time to exercise, to do some push-ups, you know, to dance, whatever. You don't need to stand and feed your juicer with different pieces and then make sure, okay, everything is good. Everything is great there. It's just in itself. doesn't need you at all. You can just go use the restroom, I don't know, like anything, take a shower, because you have this at least a minute or a couple minutes while it's juicing. Mm -hmm. Leanna, do you need to wash it out after you make your juice? Like, would you put water through it if you wanted to make, say, a fruit juice after the vegetable yeah. juice? Actually, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you definitely, you can use, you can put some water and when wash it through. And I'm making one green juice after another, so I don't feel it's necessary, but uh, in other case, I think it would be it would be great, yeah. And you see, like let's say beet juice, we make in the last one because if we would make beet juice first, then every juice will be kind of beety, you know. It would have this like uh, red red color, which uh, in this situation we want just green green juice, and that's why we beet doing uh, very last. Okay. Did you put Again. the core of the pineapple in there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I just uh, cut pineapple in quarters, and you see there is still a core, it's still right here. So juicer, uh, does, this juicer doesn't have any problem cutting it. Uh, and and look at the pulp, guys. In this situation, pulp cooks again super dry, super you know, like if I squeeze it, nothing coming out. It's just dry, nice pulp. Yeah. And look how much juice we have here already. So let's see. I think it's all done with uh, this one again was one minute 55 uh, one minute 55 minutes which is like normal uh, um, medium time so again we have our juice in here mm -hmm. okay close it up so here is our juice again super green because <laughs> we used all the greens right so we have a bottle and we have a funnel and we just Pour it up. Okay. Leanna, so what do you do with the pulp? Or do you yes. do anything with it? Great question. Uh, in situation, uh, in different situations, different ways to do with the pulp. Let's say uh, I usually, my best, my best, best, best idea would be take this pulp, blend it with some um, flox meal and water, and maybe some spices and make like a, you know, it's kind of like a consistency of a door. <laughs> and then you put it in dehydrated sheets and you dry it. Dry it for, depending on, on your dehydrator, usually it takes like from six to eight hours and you make chips, you know, you make high fiber, high nutritious, but there are still some, lots of nutrients and lots of fiber, obviously in this pulp, you make chips. And then when they're ready in your sheets, you cut it or you, uh, crumble it and it can be topping for your salad. It is additional kind of crunchy ingredient or it can be a chips which you can use with your guacamole or any other sauce. So this is one of the ways. You can also make, you know, burgers and the juice pulp can be based or for burgers. When I make carrot juice, I always uh, keep carrot pulp and I make raw carrot cake, you know, and I use uh, carrot pulp. So lots of things, lots of things. But of course, you can compost it. Of course, you can feed it to your pets or neighbor's pets. You can do all of this, yeah, but 
you can actually make it into action and being a base of some different you know things when i do beet juice i do uh, raw vegan red velvet cake so so this uh, all all is possible but then you need to you would love to separate let's say for carrot cake i i, I wouldn't like put carrot through greens or through something because i want this like bright uh uh orange color yeah i don't want it mixed of brownish or whatever i want it like pure uh, orange color or when i make raw vegan uh, uh red velvet cake i want it like really be red not mixed with any other color so i would just choose them separately or choose them first the first way knowing that i want to use this specific fun for this specific recipe but most of times i would do just or sometimes you can add it to smoothies, you know, to elevate again your smoothies to add extra uh, nutrition to your smoothies. You can freeze it, add to smoothies, or you can make this different. I, I, in my family, this dehydrated chips go with the best, you know, because it's like all this fun to munch on something and it has, you know, all these texture flavors and it just, the, it, it's just like for, for us, it works the best. But there are, yeah, many, many ways. You don't want to trash it because it's all very valuable ingredients. Yeah. Okay, we're moving to the next question. So we go into our flat belly juice. And why flat belly? Uh, because we're not gonna use uh, any sweetener in this juice. So look, we're using all kinds of greens. And in this situation, I have, you know, this lettuce I've been mentioning, kids love a lot, you know, this like very mild, very sweet, amazing lettuce, so I'm having it. I have another chard leaf, and I'm just breaking it up, you know, put in here. I have some arugula, which I just love and adore, you know, super spicy, super yummy. I have here actually uh, 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 daipon reddish leaves, you know, which I love. And I have a couple beet leaves, you know, actually reddish and beet leaves are very underestimated ingredients. They have 10 times more vitamin C than uh, regular, you know, uh, reddish or beet, you know, it's like super high nutritious, uh, uh, or in terms in, in terms of beets, it's super high in iron. So you don't want to trash your greens. You want to use your greens. Just make sure that they are, you know, fresh and from a uh, reliable source. So here, besides all of these greens, which again, you see, it's kind of like half of our copper. Yeah, it's called copper, this thing. Uh, it's filled with greens. It's just amazing. We're also using uh, cucumbers. And I'm going to use two cucumbers. They are organic cucumbers, you know, from the garden, so I don't need to peel them. Sometimes when you buy from the store, I would recommend maybe to peel them, but we all know that peels of any uh, fruit or vegetable have a bunch of vitamins, so we don't want to remove. So in this situation, what I do, I just cut it, like, uh, these are pretty medium-sized cucumbers, I'll just cut them like this, you see, in big chunks, you know, big chunks like this, and Put them in here. Amazing. Oh, cucumbers are my another most one of the most favorite ingredients. Love them in juices, love them just as a snack. I love them actually when I serve guacamole. I usually cut them in circles. And this is a dip for the guacamole or any other nice, you know, uh deep uh, uh mix uh you make. Uh, also love them spiralized or I showed you I think on our previous classes uh, uh, I use a julienier slicer so to make like a noodles you know very easy very very like takes one second you know to make it so it, it's always part of my salad like this amazing you know julienier uh, cucumbers gives this um, freshness give this volume give this nutrition give this juiciness just just amazing, just love. <laughs> yeah, okay. And also we use in this recipe, lemon and ginger. So again, one lemon, ginger, optional to use some pineapple. I actually don't see necessity for pineapple in here. I wanna avoid it, but you can add pineapple or apple uh, up to you. Let's do it. So it's interesting, yeah. So it's very, very quiet, and so it doesn't disturb yourself. It doesn't disturb your my baby sleeping next to me when you know I make juices and she's around. So, yeah, like quietness is another big, uh, big advantage. And look at the pulp, which is already going. It's just amazing. Just, just mm -hmm. right here. Liana, we had some questions earlier. Uh, one of them was, where do you get your seeds uh, to plant your produce and fruits and vegetables yeah. in your garden? 
Yes, guys, it's very important to get really from a reliable source seeds. And I've been doing research for a long time, and I found this company which I'm very happy with. It's called True Leaf Market. Uh, so it's American-based company. They have a very high standards on selecting seeds, and they are really, really amazing. So you guys uh, actually, yeah, and I actually have a code for them. I think you can say $15 with my code, but I will send you later. I don't remember it uh, now, the code. Uh, and uh, how amazing, like you can go and buy little plants and plants, but how do we know if they will grow in organic way or they will grow in whatever other way? So you can do all this, but if you just take a seed and plant it and see it growing from little seed into little you know, sprouts and from little sprouts to, you know, the whole, uh, and it took only like a month, you know, to grow into this, you know, charts and everything. So it's, it actually doesn't take much, but the result is very impressive. Like, wow. I have my um, page guys uh, called Wilder Costa Rica on Instagram. If, if some of you on Instagram, uh, I, I share about our greenhouse and, you know, like not daily, but, you know, every other day, you know, I will share how we collect greens, how we make salads, to kind of like inspire people that, you know, what for me seemed to be a dream and not possible and how these other people do it. I don't know if I will do it. It's all possible. You just need some uh, devotion, some uh, love, some good seeds, of course, good soil, absolutely crucial, and some patience. Just wait and be nature and do the thing. Yeah. Liana, instead yeah. of... Um a fresh ginger, can you use ginger powder or turmeric powder? Uh, good question. Like you see, like, like, like what is ginger powder? Like, uh, and like in juice, of course it's better than not, than not to use anything. Yeah. Like even when it's in powder, it has a bunch of benefits, but when you fresh juice fresh, it has all these juices, which were dehydrated, you know, making powder. Uh, so, I mean, it's better than nothing, but if you have and uh, nowadays in any store there is a section with fresh produce, they all have ginger at least, and lots of of them have turmeric. So yeah, try your best to find fresh one. Oh, so good. Yes, yes, yes. But if if not, powder works well too. And uh, there are lots of people who don't have greens, so they use green powder to add to juice. So let's say you have all other ingredients, but you have don't have reliable greens. But you have very good source, you know, green powder, whatever it's like, beet grass powder or barley glass powder. Of course, add a tablespoon of this powder and it will all, with all your other ingredients. Yeah, let's say it's pineapple or apples or cucumber, or celery. And this will elevate your juice with this boost of super greens. Yeah, so it's, it's totally possible and it's better than nothing. So look, guys, I have this all pulp coming up and I have the whole thing of juice. Look. Okay. let's see and actually now as my next juice will be with carrots i would love to give a little rinse to the juices so i will uh, feel, put here a little bit of water and, and run with a little bit of water or what some people do they just pour the juice in the juice again and just get juice you know one more time Let, let's just do that uh-huh and we'll we'll let it run one more time and our next recipe will be carrots. So I have this small, delicious carrots. When, when carrots are so fresh and, and awesome, you don't even need to peel them. You know, you just keep the, again, the skin. When you have like old carrots or with some bruises or something, of course, better to remove these bad parts. And, you know, if it's for some, whatever reason, bad, just, you know, don't use it at all. So try to have good produce. And, and in my case, I don't even want to peel it. I have it like this. And uh, yeah, so look, it just took a few minutes, a few seconds, I mean, to, to go the juice through the thing again. So let's see. Liana, would you juice the pineapple skin? Pineapple skin, no, uh -uh, I wouldn't juice. But I would ferment it, if it's a good pineapple, I would ferment pineapple skin and make a, a Mexican drink called tapache. It's fermented pineapple skin, yeah. So pi pi for pineapple, I peel it, but you see, I don't peel it perfectly. I like leave all these things, you know, on it. So you just like, you know, like uh, cut it around. No, 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 no need for like perfection uh, 
when you eat pineapple, you want to like remove this little, yeah, like uh, brownish uh, uh, imperfections, but uh, because they're kind of tough to, to chew on, but for me, no problem, but kids like me when I remove them. When you juice, just to take care of the lips, so you don't need to be very, very uh, precise. So this is our juice. Okay, amazing. Another juice is ready. Tomorrow will be yummy. <laughs> yeah, and so like what you can do, uh, and look, when, you, when I put it here, I already have more juice. Because like when it was sitting here, it got a little bit more. And actually it's recommended to do a little bit in reverse mode. Reverse mode, if, as if I'm doing just a little bit this way and again pressing, and we'll see the juicer will kind of like start doing it in reverse mode. Uh, just for a second, and then we can just a little bit more. When I have a little piece of cucumber there stuck, you know, I want it to be juiced. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, uh, uh, you need to open and kind of help it out. So there was a little leaf stuck on a uh, thing. It's just like, you know, sometimes you need to give a little bit of help. So I have all these fibers because I use all these stems, you know. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's 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 give it one more second. Liana, is there a specific name for the jars that you're using, and do you recommend glass versus plastic jars? Sure, guys. Glass is always uh, more sustainable. You know, you can use it, reuse it for years. Like I have this, like maybe four years, I have these jars. You know, and. Nothing happening to them, and it's better for juice, you know, because plastic, no matter how uh, good is plastic, it still has some kind of like possibility of leaking some whatever components from plastic into your produce. Uh, this glass, it's all impossible. It's just sterile, you know, washed glass. And yeah, it kind of feels good, you know, to have a glass uh, bottle in your hand. So I, I prefer glass jars, and I can send you also a link. I bought them on Amazon many years ago, and still using them. They are awesome. <laughs> так, so you see, I got more. Okay. Can you can you freeze the ginger and turmeric when it's fresh? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's actually a very good idea, you know, like especially with turmeric because every time you peel it, it kind of uh, leaves. Um, color on your hands so I recommend uh, using gloves or wash your hands right away and wash the counter right away because it can have this like uh, stains uh, yellow stains <laughs> uh, so uh, with ginger it would be great you know to juice it maybe and uh, put in an ice cube container and freeze it and then every time you need to use it you just get an ice cube and you put in your drink in your dish in your tea you know, so like this way, you kind of save save your same yourself lots and lots of time. Uh, just a second, guys. Mm -hmm. And so now we move into our uh, carrot juice. So I could wash the container. So to, to have my carrot juice like like beautifully uh, um, orange and perfect for picture, whatever. We're not doing anything for picture. We're doing everything for practice. So we're not going to wash a juicer. We're going to leave it like it is. And actually, whatever is remains from our greens, we'll just, you know, add up extra nutrition to my carrot juice. So Do you use wheatgrass in your juices, Diana? Uh, I personally uh, have a wheatgrass powder. So if I did, if I wouldn't have greens, you know, huge amount of greens, I probably would. Uh, but as I have all these greens fresh from the garden, which, you know, grew every day, I use them. But it's all very, it's all very individual. I think wheatgrass is awesome. I think wheatgrass is amazing. If you have fresh wheatgrass, it's wonderful. I have actually a huge bunch of seeds of wheatgrass. Need to get back to growing it, you know, and have like like microgreens and cuts on the scissors. Thank you for reminding me. I, I will. <laughs> yeah. So for carrots, I just cut in half, you know. And my carrots are pretty small. That's why I'm using, you know, a bunch of them. So these are my carrots just going in here. Uh, then we need for the recipe, again, we use it. I, I every my, my recipe has lemon, but it's optional. Uh, a little bit of uh, ginger. And um, here I'm using some turmeric. So I have a piece of turmeric. Turmeric actually for juicing and it's, you know, 
I, I kind of like don't even feel it, you know. It's, I just like remove one piece, put it here, all good. So let's see how much juice we will have this time. We know we said, you said that your juices come from your garden. So your fruits and vegetables come from your garden. People who are perhaps buying their things from Whole Foods or the supermarket, is there a cleaner that you recommend or something that people could use to make sure they're cleaning everything um, well before juicing? Yeah, just thoroughly clean. I would recommend cleaning with a brush, you know, uh, like this. So kind of like brush, you know, just clean your celery, clean your carrots, clean your beets, you know, clean everything very thoroughly because we, you like, with my soil, I know what in my soil and I'm actually okay to have, even if it's a little bit of something, I'm totally fine. Whoever else was growing other produce, we, we don't know. So it's better to thoroughly brush, thoroughly wash. Some people used to, and we discussed it before, remember the baking soda and let's keep everything in baking soda for 15, 20 minutes. Also possible, it wouldn't hurt, right? But uh, when I buy something in a store, I just wash it thoroughly in clean water and and yeah, that's the way to go, yeah. Okay, so we have now this carrot pulp coming up. Yeah, and my juice, you see, it's, it's kind of like greenish brownish because I was lazy, I didn't clean my juice, but it's totally fine. You know, I'm not. I'm here not for, again, for the color, we care for nutrition. And we know that this has a bunch of um, uh, carrots and it also has turmeric, it has ginger and it, and it has lime. So, and some leftovers of our previous green juice. So it's actually super highly amazing juice. Yeah, it's awesome. And carrots, are there any actually, um, fruits or vegetables that we shouldn't put in the fridge? Um, I would say tomatoes, they don't like refrigerate them. Uh, it's better to keep them on the counter. Depends on how fast you eat. I usually don't put them in the fridge uh, cucumbers because I like them, you know, like fresh, but depending on the amount, like, let's say I go to the garden, I collect a few and I usually eat them right away. Or if sometimes I buy good cucumbers from farmer's market, I know that again, I will eat them in the next few days. So I don't put them in the refrigerator. Uh, what else? I don't know, like I think like, tomatoes and all the rest can go well but there are definitely many opinions about that so yeah it depends look how much pulp i have like all these carrots you know right here it's amazing yeah again color is not very presentable but i actually like it like greenish orangey yeah kind of like very happy color so yeah we have the very last piece of uh yeah i think it's done yeah the last piece is coming down. Awesome. Wow, look guys, again, almost the whole the whole thing is, you see, filled with the juice. That's a lot. That's good. That, uh, how powerful is juicer that it gets all, all the juice possible. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, so here I have one of my favorite jars. I have it also for years, you know, it has this little fun dots on it. I like making smoothies. I like storing juices in it. So it's a really cool one. So we're feeling it with the juice. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Look how fun it is. And I, 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 I'm having it for years and I'm moving to different places. I take it with me. You know, you have some things which you like to keep around, right? Yeah, this is one of them. And so let's see, the next juice will be beet cooler juice. And obviously we use beet oh, beets for this juice. I have actually, uh, in the recipe, it, it says one, ju one beet, but I'm using three because they are very small. They are like, like there, this much. Then, and I got them on the farmer's market, this one, because mine was still, you know, getting, uh, still growing. And so they were in a bunch with the greens, which I already used, you know, for other juice. But this one I kept to use today uh, for the juice. So we put them in here. Uh, uh, and uh, we have lots of actually uh, basil for this recipe. I love basil a lot. Guys, if you put on the smell, it look, look how beautiful. Wow, right? <laughs> and I have basil, basil I find growing so amazingly in the garden. I have like five different varieties of basil. And it's one of my favorite herbs to add to salad, to add to my tea to add to juices, to they are so beautiful, you know, you put them on top of every dish you make, it's kind of like decoration also. 
So they are just amazing. So I'm putting lots of this amazing uh, basil, but it's up to you like it. You can add more or less. I just love basil, you know, with all my heart. Love making pesto, like love, just, I just like the flavor, you know, it's this. And especially when it's fresh and awesome, it makes it even better. So we have beets, we have uh, basil. We, again, we're gonna use one cucumber. Uh, it's a very light on calories and, and on sugar juice. I mean, beets is uh, sweet uh, enough by itself, so we don't need to add any pineapple or, yeah, or anything like this. Uh, lemon, we're gonna add. And, um, you know, my recipe says apple, but it's totally up to you. You can add apple or not. So, yeah, it's very, uh, very optional. So from the apple, I will just cut it in half. I leave all the seeds, you know, some people say remove the seeds. This juicer is powerful enough even having it with the seeds, but I will remove the, the stick, you know, the, the stick we will <laughs> keep aside. And again, we just press the button. Okay. Liana, can people with diabetes juice? It's diabetes, exactly. Yeah. So some people have diabetes and they're afraid of drinking juice. And actually these people will benefit a lot from cucumber juice, from celery juice, from all kinds of green juices, which are not, you know, highly loaded with uh, sweet components. Or even if it's pineapple juice, it's less pineapple, but more cucumber, more celery, more amazing uh, herbs and greens. So then you kind of make your juice from being sweet and indulgent and desserty, you make it super highly nutritious. Too. So totally, totally, yeah. Oh, look at the color, rich. <laughs> beets are actually amazing. I don't know how you guys, I love beets in every way. Uh, maybe because in my childhood we've been eating lots of beets, lots of beet salad, you know, like I, it's kind of like my very much soul food. And it's super high in iron, it's super high in magnesium, it's super high in all kinds of good stuff. So it's really essential to eat beets. Lots of people find raw beets not very yummy. I find it awesome. So what do I do? I usually peel the beets and uh, use in a food processor or just a blender, uh, depending on what I'm making uh, to make less mess. Uh, just grate it. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> bless me. Uh, and um, maybe all this ginger, you know, uh, ginger coming up. And um, uh, so I just use this shredded beets on top of salad or shredded carrots on top of salad. Not every day, but like pretty often. And yeah, really like it. Really, really, really like it a lot. Um, there are Liana, is there anything you shouldn't combine? Anything you shouldn't combine? Good question. What you shouldn't combine? Uh, I would say too much sweet with too much sweet, you know, to make it a balance. Yeah. And also, of course, if let's say you want to make green juice, you wouldn't add, uh, you know, you, you would try to keep it green, yellow ingredients, green, yellow, like, like, oh, like, you know, it's like white ingredients. You can just jicama, you can just like all kinds of things, right? Like uh, chayote, like lots of uh, things that, uh, to to make green juice. So don't add beets into green juice. So obviously you will, you know, make a different palette. Um, so I, I don't know, just watch your body, watch, watch, your, watch how your body reacts, try different combinations and yeah, and see how it works for you. Do you uh, like juicing you saying bell peppers? Yes, guys, bell peppers is awesome. So high in vitamin C, so amazing. Yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers, green, all of them, it's amazing, yeah. And is I mean, there a specific that, type of apple that you're using with the beets? Uh, it can be any. Like we here uh, in Costa Rica have these small apples. You know, they're like pretty small, you know, super sweet, super delicious. I personally, uh, I'm from Kazakhstan, you know, and this is a place where apples were born. They were originated, you know, in the beginning of the world. And then from there... They will spread in Europe and all, all over the world. So for me, apples are very dear to my heart. Uh, ingredient, I like apples a lot. I can't say that I'm like live on apples. I like to, you know, like to cut them and add to my smoothie as a topping, you know. I, I sometimes uh, I like on a go, I would just grab some apples and have it as a snack, you know. So I love apples and I very respect them. But 
I can't bear seeing these big apples, you know, which are almost like pumpkins and green and red and everything. And it's kind of like, I know lots of people who love them, but for me, it's not even an apple, it's something else. So we like buying apples, which are small, uh, like you see, like, like this one, small size, and they are locally grown. So we're trying always to buy everything locally grown and yeah, any kind. Uh, lots of people like using green apples. Uh, here in Costa Rica, they for some reason don't grow green apples. Their apples are red, so I'm using red. <laughs> but uh, when I used to live in California, I love green apples a lot. Yeah, I would actually prefer them to red ones. But yeah, you again, you adjust your uh, situation on your location on, 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 on everything. Yeah. So guys, we made these amazing juices. Look at this. We made five yummy, delicious, absolutely awesome juices. Look. And uh, yeah, it's been absolutely a pleasure showing you how juicing can benefit your body, how juicing can be awesome, how juicing can be easy. And uh, yeah, I hope I inspired you. And I can't wait personally, you know, one I think I'm gonna drink right now because it's just too good and all the rest I'm leaving for tomorrow. So tomorrow I will have my a little bit, you know, like, less food more drinking juices day and when i drink juices as i told you before i drink also lots of water of course i drink coconut water i drink just uh, you know our spring water i drink uh, lots of herbal infusions like teas you know and so it's like lots of lots of lots of lots of liquids and i would even make you know like uh in the evening if, if i feel i want something warm and something like you know very calming i will even make like let's say cacao ashwagandha latte which will have you know, a little bit of uh, coconut butter or cacao butter and, you know, these amazing powders to come down to relax and, uh, yeah, and um, maybe even put a couple of days and I will blend it all up and I will drink it because I love it, you know, it's like, even when you have juice day, you know, you not necessarily have to be like fully on juices, but again, it's very personal, like for me, it works like when I treat myself a little bit with my little latte which has so many benefits and properties and like it's amazing some people like to be like strict on juice or strict only on green juices it's like really there are so many ways and they all awesome yeah like whatever you do for your body yeah you're already doing great you're already like more steps every day step by step you're moving forward to longevity you're moving forward to no disease you're moving forward to no medications because you choose to invest in your bodies before you get any problems, before you get any any situation to deal with. So I uh, want to congratulate you because today you learned more than you knew before. <laughs> Thank you so much, Liana. There is one final question about if you're allergic to apples, uh, mm -hmm. what should you, what can you use instead? Oh, my dear, uh, very sorry about this allergy, but it's totally no problem. Please use pears or use pineapples or use whatever sweet ingredient. Lots of people use even citrus if, if they want, you know, to substitute. Or just uh, don't use apple at all. Because, you know, again, this time you will find yourself that you want your juice to be less sweet. You will find the joy of drinking like this green you know, very rich in different flavors and sweetness, you know, you will like sometimes when I drink uh, pineapple juice, I'm like, wow, how you can even drink it? It's like so sweet. So like unbearably sweet. So with time, your palate kind of changes and you want to actually add less and less sweetness and this apple actually not necessary in a recipe at all. So yeah, or use carrots or use beets because they are also very sweet, but they have so much more fiber so much more nutrients and minerals and it's like just uh yeah just amazing excellent and so the last question someone asked earlier is about the codes and i remember last week you gave out a page on your website uh, where people can find the codes can you yeah. buy that again uh, thank you so much for this question uh it will be it will mean a world for me if you support and i will appreciate if you go check out my website i have actually seven different ebooks on different topics Two of them devoted to juices and actually one of them 
is absolutely free. You just download it and you get subscribed to my email list. I don't bombard these emails. I do them actually very, very not often. Should do better on that. But uh, so one is free ebook, one uh, ebook about juicing you buy because it has more information, more insight into juicing. So uh, I have ebook called Savory Raw. It's about savory dishes. It's my bestseller. Like this one is like just, you know, getting sold out all the time. I have Sweetly Raw. It's about desserts. I have actually a uh, package when you can buy all of them together. So yeah, just go check it out. And there is a uh, code I made for you to get 50% of any of my ebooks or so all of them. And yeah, I hope you will uh, get inspired and get, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, helpful information because I've been there when I just started my journey many years ago. I was not uh, knowing anything, was so afraid to make a mistake. But at the same time, I was brave. I started, you know, like reading, you know, acquiring books, signing up for courses, learning about, you know, this and that, because I understood that this is my investment in my health. This is my investment in my, yeah, in my longevity. I want to be young. I want to be happy. I want to be healthy. I want to live my life and, you know, see my kids growing up and see my kids achieving things. And, and again, I have 12 year old she's turning 13 in a month i have 10 year old and i have seven months a year old baby seven months old baby so i have to be uh really healthy and really full of energy for a long long time that's why i'm going to be juicing i'm going to be eating healthy and i wish you guys the same insightful <laughs> thank you guys for joining we're gonna talk more next class and yeah i'm very happy to be here for you to support you on your journey to share some of my experience, my knowledge, it, it's just a big honor and big pleasure being here with you. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much, Leanna. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your time. And everybody, I hope this is helpful to you no matter where you are in your plant-based journey or your living food journey. I hope these sessions have been helpful for you. So I'm just going to ask you all to come off mute and we have our next session, session five next week at 7 p.m. And we'll send out the information for that. So thank you all for being here. And thank I you. Come thank and you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.